Hi guys, Mark Wood here, Director of Instruction at Chester Golf Academy and also World's Best Golf Destinations and welcome to another video. And in today's video we're going to talk about how to handle pressure out on the golf course. It's a common question I get asked, you know, I feel the pressure on the golf course, especially maybe on the first tee or I'm on for my career best score and down the closing stretch, the last two or three holes, the wheels come off and I finish sort of eight, seven, eight and uh, I have, I turn my kind of best ever score, looking ever score into sort of just a mediocre score. So guys, if you're new to the channel, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and turn the notification bell on because that's going to notify you every time I upload a video. Also, don't forget to thumbs up the video and also post your comments below as well. Let me know what kind of video content you would like me to, to produce for you, what golf tips you would like to see or club reviews or any equipment reviews that you'd like me to do for you. But getting back to this video then, how can you handle pressure out on the golf course? Guys, comment below. What do you, how do you handle pressure out on the golf course? The, the good players out there, how do you handle pressure on the golf course? Comment below. Let, let's uh, build a bit of a community here. Let's help a few of the other golfers out as well. So the one thing I do is if I'm feeling a bit of pressure on the golf course, I'll go straight to my breathing. So I'll just have sort of maybe two or three deep breaths in through my nose out through my mouth I'll have like two or three of those I'll go a little bit more lethargic as I'm walking into the ball I'll, I'll make sure that my pre-shot routine is a is a little bit more slower than normal because obviously the heart rate starts to go a little bit faster we start to sort of move around a little bit faster so in general I try and slow a few things down I, I try and breathe a little bit more um, slowly as well I start to look at things you know I think one of the big things is a lot of golfers look to where the trouble is and they get so focused on where the trouble is so like second shot into this green let's you know throw the scenario down i've hit my drive down the middle i got 155 into the green i need to make par or better to win the tournament now most golfers would look and think okay well look there's a bunker on the left so uh yeah i don't really want to go in the bunker i don't really want to sort of miss a green to the left because there's trees down the left if I miss the green to the right, that's okay because I've got those mounds to come up and over. So a lot of the time you're kind of focusing on where you don't want the ball to go and that becomes a main thing. It's like you're focusing, right, I don't want the ball going in the bunker, I don't want to miss the green left, I don't want to miss the green right. How about we start focusing on where we want the ball to end up? So that's one thing I do. Like I say, I start to breathe slowly, I start to sort of move a little bit more slowly into the golf ball and then I start to focus on where I want the ball to end up. So, you know, the pins at the back of the green. So I've got 155 to the flag. I've got about, um, about 130 sort of to the front of the green. So I'm gonna make sure that I take that extra bit of club that's gonna make sure that I get over that trouble and I make sure that I get the, the ball back to the flag, so to speak. So I'm gonna hit a little seven iron in here. So like I said, I've got 155, the pins at the back. I'm just literally focusing on hitting it you know right at the back of the green there i've got the spot that i want to land i'll have two or three nice slow deep breaths then i'll set up over the ball nice and slow i'll try and feel as relaxed as i can in my arms and my chest and then from there i just let it go that's a little bit off the bottom of the club so because i've taken that extra club the ball has literally just found the front of the green so that's not a bad thing, you know, because like I say, quite often when you're feeling under pressure, you're not going to hit your best ball strikes ever. The adrenaline's going, the, the nerves are jangling. So if you catch one slightly skinny and it finishes on the front of the green, we'll take that. So let's just hit one more for you. So again, be a little bit slower with the pre-shot routine. A few deep breaths. Focus on where you want that ball to end up. So I'm kind of laser focused right at the back of the green there. That's my main focus. And that's a much, much better strike. Right at the flag. Perfect. Nicely in the middle of the green. So that is one way that you're going to, you know, how you can handle pressure on the golf course. Just think about how you're breathing. Think about how, you know, you're moving around the golf course. Think about, you know, walking in slowly to the golf ball. And guys, I'm sure that's going to help you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and also don't forget to post your comments below as well. Many thanks for watching guys.